Oh, well, okay, so I'm thinking that all things being what they are, I'm not leaving the apartment today. <laughs> it's going to be a home day today because I am not physically in a condition to go out in this rain today at all. And um, yeah, it's like, I wonder if they expect this all day. I don't know, but uh, tell me something. Do you know whether the, the time has been changed yet? Daylight savings time, has it ended? I, I can never tell what, what, what's what with the changing of the time, whether it's daylight savings. I don't even care at this point. Is the question is, what time is it? That's all I care about. You know what I mean? All right. I have been cheating on you. Okay. I've been cheating. You know what I've been doing? <laughs> I'm like, an, well, I'm not even going to say what. But no, it's not like I do it like a lot, a lot, a lot of. But um, when I'm sick, I have to have something sweet. I'm sorry. Okay. And um, you know what else I could put in here? These are all like leftover peels. Yes, you're right. If you recognize them, you're right. You're right. Where's the um the vanilla sugar? Let's get some vanilla sugar because that's that gives it a nice kind of kick. Yeah, this is from the other day. I don't remember what I was making. Something that needed vanilla sugar. What was that? Do you remember? It was something. Was it um the 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 vin show or something? I don't remember. I made something with vanilla sugar. But I loved it. And, um, you know, the vanilla taste. I don't think it was the Vancho. I don't remember. But anyway, it's the most delightful brew with some glass, souk glass. Like the, in English, it's, um, it's frosting sugar and the vanilla sugar and these peels. Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's so good, and it's such a pamper, and it lasts so long. I mean, these are days old, these peels. But I just keep, like, reheating it with, like, fresh water. And it's so soothing to myself. Mm. On a rainy day, you know, when I'm not feeling so fabulous. I'm not feeling very fabulous. But it could be worse, you know, so I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. It's going to be okay. I'm going to be fine. And you, my darling, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Thinking good thoughts, spreading positivity in the world, in your own heart. You know, it's a struggle, you know, to be positive all the time and, you know, see the, the bright side of things. It's not easy. But if you can get into that frequency... It's much, much better than negativity and worry and fear, you know? It really is, my darling. Mm. This is so good. This is so good. It's like all these peels. And then it's just like some sugar and some vanilla sugar and some frosting sugar. And you know what else we could put? We could put some lemon juice. And yeah, let's just squeeze some lemon juice into it. And then I'm going to put some ginger too. Just drop like one piece of ginger, two pieces of ginger. And just let that just boil, girl. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to make such a mess. <laughs> You missed that. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? Oh, maybe I shouldn't because you'll, you'll start to think I'm a little bit neurotic. Maybe I am, huh? but I am terrified of lighted candles in the sense that I light it, but I'm not always like just, you know how some people, they light candles all over the house and they leave it, they don't pay attention to it and... I, I watch it like a hawk. I mean, I am like, 
very, very careful with it. And I, I sometimes I don't even light it. I just have them to have them because I'm used to, you know, just having candles around me. But I don't like to light them, you know. And it used to get me into a lot of trouble with my mother because she likes candles. And I would just go around the house like outing the candles because for me, it's just like, can you hear the church bells? And this is my tea. Oh, it's in a very big cup today. Very big. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You know, I can't put music on my, my videos anymore for a while because now that I am monetized, when I put music on the videos, it can the, the video cannot be monetized. It will not be monetized by YouTube. So I would have to buy music and I'm not yet at a point where I, I can afford to do that. So my, my videos are going to be a little bit boring without music for a while, but I hope that you will still bear with me. So what do you think of my candles and my bravery in like lighting them? <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> They're done. I'm done. I'm, I can't. I can't. Yum, yum. Ah, dear God, thank you for this. Oh, a lone bird. Oh, did you see it? You didn't see the bird. Can you see the rain? <laughs> I'm just sitting at the window having my tea and just, you know, feeling grateful in this moment that whatever else is going on in the, in the world, in my own life, even in this particular moment, I am blissfully happy. <laughs> I feel so lucky and in this moment, you know, I mean, the day is a series of moments, obviously, and moment by moment can change, you know. But in this moment, I feel so happy. <laughs> I want for nothing at all. <laughs> and frankly, no one. I mean, I'm good right in this moment, you know, just enjoying the rain, enjoying my tea. Where's my tea? My tea is right here. <laughs> it's piping hot. Mm. and yeah and you my darling I wish you the same just a moment of just bliss and acceptance for that particular moment you know for what it is you know and if you break your life down like that to the moments I mean it makes a really big difference in in your happiness in your ability to cope even you know, stop thinking so big and wide, you know, your retirement and no money in the bank and oh my God, this and oh my God, that. Just take it moment by moment and appreciate the moments and how lucky you are. You know, some people in this particular moment, they can't see <laughs> and they want to see and cannot see. And here I am, I can see. I'm so lucky. I mean, what else do I need? I can speak, I can smell, I can feel the, the fresh air on my face and taste the brew that I'm drinking, you know. I'm a lucky girl. Look at the fall leaves and the neighbor's house across the street. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. I am lucky. Suddenly very bright as if the sun is going to come out. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. This is delicious. Honestly, it's very buttery. I highly recommend it. Ten corsets. Now, now ask me another question. How long, Marion, did it take you, you little glutton, to eat ten corsets? My answer is none of your business. And besides, there are two left. So really, I ate eight croissants. How long did I do that? It's none of your beeswax. All right, so can you hear lunch? <laughs> can you hear the stove? <laughs> what am I having today? I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not even going to tell you because it's boring, because it's boring, because you saw it already. I'm having the same thing I had yesterday, so I'm not going to show you the pictures, but it's so delicious. I'm having croissants and eggs, sunny side up eggs with croissants 
Is it breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I don't get down. I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to be homebound today and I'm going to eat the living bejesus out of my fridge and pantry today. So there you go. Well, you know what they say. Don't let Marion get a head cold. Don't give her like a free day of nothing to do because she becomes a very dangerous just I'm armed and dangerous. I'm armed and dangerous. I have a head cold. I'm bored. So only God knows how this is going to turn out my day because like I'm bored. Okay. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I am going to make something. I don't know what with corn. What is that called again in English? Um, Cornstarch. Milk. A can of corn and some walnuts. I'm going to put these together and maybe some spinach, right? So it's kind of like, not like totally unhealthy, right? I mean, you have corn and then you have corn. So you have two corns. It's a lot of corn. Je suis d'accord avec toi. And then we put some milk or cream. What is this? It's filled with vitamin D and calcium see that so we're going to put some of that and some fresh spinach we're going to create something it's probably going to be like a fudge without sugar which actually you should be proud of me that i'm even going to do that right to have like a fudge without sugar okay so i'm going to put it in a dish and let it just gel for a few hours because i'm bored af you know how that is like you have a head cold and you're bored you're like oh my god what can i do like what can i do other than think about like my head cold you know what i mean to put whatever we end up with in the pyrex dish and it's debatable whether or not i'm going to actually bake it or just let it gel you know after let's see Actually, I have some fromage blanc left over. Not a lot, but I want to use it before it spoils because I don't think it's going to last much longer and I can't afford to waste anything, right? So let's start with that and see if it's enough and then I won't have to open a, a milk. You know, I can leave that for another time. Let's see. Don't think that it's going to be enough, the, the fromage blanc. So I'm going to have to add the milk because once I put in the, the cornstarch, it's going to be so thick so quickly that, you know, I need the milk. So just throwing a whole bottle of milk, but a small bottle, right? This, how much is it? It's 25 centiliters of milk, okay? Is it even milk? What is it? It's maybe, it could be a milk substitute, in fact. No, it's milk, milk of France. How much uh, cornstarch? I don't know. I don't measure, okay? I don't know if you notice that. I don't measure. Never, ever. I just, you know, I just got to feel for it. So you put that in to start because this thickens very quickly. So you put in a cornstarch and you get the spinach real quick. Get this to be like nice and clean. Right? Yeah, so you throw in the spinach and you just, I guess you keep stirring it until the spinach sort of welters and then you put it in the dish to either gel or you put it in the oven to to brown i mean whichever let's see what i don't know what i'm I, i'm making this up as i go along i have no idea let me ask you this question do you think that if i put an egg in this right do you think i it's like too much sometimes i can't judge you know sometimes i i, I lose it you know in the sense that one of the reasons I think people find me, well, when I was younger anyway, they, they would laugh at my cooking because sometimes I would jump the shark. You know, I, I go too far. You know, I put just one ingredient too much, the whole thing falls apart. So I'm thinking, if I put an egg in here, see how thick and it's getting already? But we need to have the, the, the spinach nicely wilted before we can... I almost think I need more milk. What do you think? Do you think I should put an egg in this? Do you think that's going to be too much? Are you a cook? Do you understand food? You know, because maybe I don't understand, but I'm thinking an egg would be like amazing in this concoction. And there's no reason why not. I mean, it's cornstarch. 
with corn, spinach, milk. I think egg would work. Let's put an egg. Ah, la, 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 la. Help them, Father Jesus. Help them, Father Lord. So guess what? I'm putting onion. After I did that, I said, you know what? Let's put some onion. And then we're going to put the egg. Okay? Okay? All right. And so the egg is in. Yay, 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 yay. Mommy, 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 mommy. What are you making? I don't know, my darlings. I don't know yet. Mommy doesn't know yet. I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of olive oil because I don't have butter. I think butter would have been better. I'm thinking I want to bake it. But I think it needs some cheese or something, you know. I think it needs some cheese on top. Ah, what do we do about that? Okay. I need to get... Um, you know, I would prefer to have like a dry cheese. But what do you think I would get that in this joint? Oh, I don't know, man. Really. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, but I mean... Oops. My umbrella. <laughs> My Paris umbrella. Um, ah, la, la, la. 175, 4 euros. 268. There's no rhyme or reason here. 342. 653. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, what are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to achieve. I would like to have some butter too. What do you think they have that? But I think I want to get. Um. Man, what is it? What are you doing? I'm looking for cheese. Darn it. Did you not understand the assignment? I need cheese. Okay, well. I think, I, what do you call that dry cheese that we put on stuff in America? It's like a, it's like a dry cheese. I can't remember the name of it, actually. I don't think you'd find it in the fridge, right? Weird, I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, well. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to get these. Now let's preheat the oven. Okay, let's preheat it. And, um, yeah. It's actually cooled and it's already solid. Look at that. It's already solid. So we're just going to brown it up in the oven. Top it with some butter and cheese. Top it with some butter, some sticks of butter, right? And then the cheese on top of the butter. So it looks like this, and we're just going to put this, it's a Pyrex dish if I didn't say that, we're just going to put it into the, um, the oven. I don't know if that, what I just said, taped, but we're going to, <sighs> we've topped this with cheese and we're going to put it in the oven now, okay? It looks like the cheese is definitely melting, so that's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. I don't know what else is going to happen, but yeah. So, it's raining cats or dogs. I just missed the rain by two seconds. <laughs> I went out, I bought the butter and the cheese, and then I got back in. So, that was a blessing because I don't need to get drenched right now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get past my little sniffle here. <sighs> It's a satisfying moment though, you know, and uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm, you know, as, as I'm working on my little dish, I'm having some really interesting ideas for my future that I haven't really thought about before. And, um, and it's really nice to have new ideas. You know, I'm an idea woman. I always have ideas, but there are times when I have like a dry spell and I'm like, I'm out of ideas. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> And uh, so I've had a dry spell for a while. But then as I was making the dish, whatever I'll call it, um, uh, pie de marguerite, maybe after my grandmother. Pie de marguerite. Ooh, tat, tat de marguerite. Maybe we'll call it that. Um, so I was making my tart de marguerite. I, uh, I had some interesting ideas that made me smile, you know, just to think of it, you know. I don't have a sense of how I would actually get it done, but the fact that it entered my mind 
suggests to me that it can be done and there's a way and I just have to figure it out, you know. But yeah, it's a really nice idea and it would allow me to, um, well, I don't want to say anything because then you talk about it, you jinx. So that's it. it I just had some really nice ideas going through my little mind <laughs> as I was going <laughs> and the rain was falling. A little bit worried just because we've got what 20 more minutes and it's not browning enough and you can see how it's bubbling it means that I probably put a little bit too much butter <laughs> I put too much butter I was trigger happy with the butter so I'm like oh no but let's see what happens just realized I forgot the freaking walnuts oh no Oh my god, how do I get the walnuts in without making a mess? Hang on a second. Okay. Just try it in sort of like this. Oh my god, help. Oh my god, help. I screwed up. I screwed up. I completely forgot the walnuts. They should have been inside underneath the cheese. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Did I curse? I curse too much. I curse too much, but it's a mess. Oh god, help. Help me. Okay. Just put it in as you can. It's already kind of like too late, but if you try this recipe, you have to put the walnuts under the butter, okay? All right, so I just took it out of the oven. So it's still, two seconds, let me just turn back down. So it's still, um, it's still very hot and, I would say I can tell that I put a little too much butter in there. <laughs> so if you try this, you know, you saw that I put about five little pats of butter. I think one or two pats of butter should be okay. Now, I had in my mind thought of putting walnuts, but then when I put it together, I forgot about the walnuts. So if you're going to make it, I would say put the walnuts under the butter and put the butter under the cheese so the cheese is on top next level is the butter next level is the walnut and the next level is the actual um tart you know the tart de marguerite my grandmother that's that's who i'm going to name this from because this is my original recipe i didn't see this anywhere you know this is me being bored and just creating something out of nothing okay so i'm going to let it cool and and, you know, in fact, the walnuts can work on top, but you would have to put them on at the same time that you put this in and not at the end. So that way it could, it could come out with toasted walnuts on top, if you know what I mean, right? But it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It smells good. So let's see. Let's see what develops. I would not recommend that you make this if you are living alone. <laughs> And if you have no self-control, because you are going to eat it all in one sitting. So that's what's facing me at the moment is that, oh my God, this is really delicious. And how do I keep myself from eating it all at once, you know? Um, yeah, that's the question. Okay, so I'm just having seconds, just two little pieces. And I'm going to put the rest in the fridge. I'm going to be very grown up and mature. You know what would also be really good with this, but I know at some point you have to stop, is some bacon. You know what I mean? That will be so good. It may be better to just take it out of the thing so that you can get rid of that paper that I had in there. Um, and so that you can see more the beauty of your little tart de marguerite <laughs> oh god okay so it's the end of the day it's like about five o'clock in the afternoon so i relit the candle again and i'm like try to be brave mary and try to be a big girl you're such a baby <laughs> stop being a baby when are you going to stop being a baby <laughs> when are you going to stop being a baby you're such a big baby so I said, okay, I'm going to light my candles and enjoy my candles. So I relit them and <laughs> you want to, you want to laugh? You want to laugh? So I relighted, but I always have a cup right here. Like I'm like out the, 
off the bat immediately. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm so ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to enjoy. I don't want to turn the camera around because it's such a mess in the house. But um, wait, wait, let me just move this because I don't want you to see just what a mess it is because I'm sick. I don't have time to clean. I'm going to throw this over here. Marin, you're out of control. And so I'm enjoying the fire. <laughs> And yeah, so oh, it's a beautiful moment and I'm very grateful. I wish you a beautiful day, my darling. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.